Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to the Scarecorp channel. Uh, great uh, news. Uh, Rogers in Canada on at least the Galaxy S3 has gotten the OTA uh, Jelly Bean 411 update. Uh, I would like to show you what uh, this all comes uh, with. Um, Basically, I got the OTA uh, last night at midnight. Um, I just had it this morning for, played with it for about an hour or so, and um, so I don't know everything on it, but um, uh, I just some of the things I noticed right away, I, I can sh uh, gladly show you and uh, to see what uh, you'll be expecting if you ever get this OTA as well. All right, so right off the bat, this thing keeps turning off. Um, what you can do is uh, drop down notifications from the lock screen. So very cool, very neat. You can go um, basically right into your settings, right into your notifications and see what you missed. And um, I'll show you what that is in a little bit as well. Uh, so that is very neat, uh, very cool. So uh, right off the bat, um, notice that right away. And uh, okay, so let's uh, let's just go right into it. So let me just show you some of the new things in the settings. So if I go to settings, okay, so scroll into the very top. Uh, there is this add-on home screen mode. So if you click on here, uh, you will looks like you have a basic and an easy mode. Um, I haven't tried this out yet. I really don't want to rearrange my home screen, but um, looks like you can have uh, different layouts uh, that they, you know, would recommend for you depending on your style. Um, so that's what I noticed right away. Okay, the other one is blocking mode. Very cool. I've been looking for this for a long time, and um, there's different apps that could do this. And I think uh, Ice Cream Sandwich does, uh, on the Nexus anyway, does something similar. But what this is is uh, disables uh, incoming calls, notifications, alarms, LEDs uh, by time and date. Um, and what's neat about this is that you can actually pick which contacts you want to allow. So let's say, um, and I actually got one started here. Uh, so from 10.30 p.m. to 8 a.m., don't bug me. You know, um, don't send me notifications, uh, but I will receive, uh, you know, uh, for my preference, I will receive incoming calls. Uh, so no emails, no texts, no nothing like that. Um, so that's that's very sweet. And then uh, here, you know, you can uh, basically allow contact so your family members or whatever for emergencies, you can, you know, you can add that in there so they will always get through. So that's very cool. Um, very happy to see something like this in Jellybin. Okay, uh, the next thing, uh, if you scroll down, you'll just, you know, I'll just go slow here. You might see something I don't, you know, I don't, uh, I missed, but the next thing is accounts. I'm pretty sure this wasn't here before, so, uh, looks like all the accounts that you're actually, you've got set up and, uh, monitoring on your phone, so, uh, they show up right on the main settings, which is pretty cool. If you go to add account, uh, I think there's some new ones in here as well, like LDAP for, uh, you know, for, uh, um, domain controllers and it looks like you have exchange and the server one. I'm very interested to see what this one would do once I play with it. So it looks like you can sync with the server. Um, I'm not sure if you get it that's like a files or, or what that's all about, but um, uh, if anybody knows, you can uh, comment below and let me know. As far as motions, I didn't really see any new motions. Um, on here, but I what what I did notice was under display settings, under the display settings, buddy page. Um, actually, uh, that was that's not what I was looking for, but yeah, I'm not sure how to turn this on just yet. Buddy page 
context-related pages will be created on the home screen. Um, okay, I'm not sure how to turn that on. Um, uh, looks like I got into it. Can, oh, there we go. Okay, so again, I'm very new to this. So, earphones page, docking page, roaming page, uh, page buddy help. Okay, uh, sorry, I didn't, uh, wasn't sure how to turn this on before. I should have just clicked on it. So, you can read here, pause if you want, and, and read. Uh, I will be looking at this a little later anyway, so... Okay, and the other one I was going for is Smart Rotation. So if you click on it, uh, Smart Rotation, you can read it here, pause it and read it. But what it's uh, looking like, I haven't tried it yet, but what it's looking like is that it'll basically follow you if you turn your head a little bit or, or whatnot, it'll follow you. So it's kind of like uh, Smart Stay um, from... Samsung, this is Smart Rotation. I'm wondering if this is uh, actually uh, Samsung's app, uh, not uh, Google's, because I haven't really seen this anywhere else. So, kind of cool. Um, so I think that's about it in settings. Uh, I could be wrong, but again, you know, I only had this for a little bit. So, uh, if you go back to um, your basically your your desktop, you will notice that. The drop down, or sorry, the notification bar that usually is there is gone. And I'm not sure, there's probably a way to toggle that so it always stays on, but if you flip it once, and uh, my fingers are sticky, if you flip it once and then you get to see your battery life and and, and whatnot, right, and then your, uh, your messages here, and then if you do it one more time, it'll come down. So, a uh, new thing, it looks like, uh, gives you a bit of a date and settings up here um, again I'm not sure how to find this and if anybody knows how to do this please comment below I've been looking for this for a very very long time can't find it in this phone how do you uh, change the uh, orientation of these um, quick toggles um, I'm not sure if this is a touch with thing or just basically what I can't find out where to do it so anyway if, if you know how to do it please post it below uh, be very grateful. So you got this blocking mode on and off, and that's about it for new stuff here. Um, there should be ways to add more things in here as well. I know in uh, stock ICS, there's just in the settings, but I'm not sure in, uh, in Galaxy S3. So when you got the blocking mode on, you have the ongoing here, so that kind of shows up. Um, kind of don't like that how that shows up, but anyway. Uh, the other cool thing is two finger gesture on your on certain apps. So if you basically uh, hold down the email here and you can actually drop down to see what the first couple of lines actually um, of the email messages so that's very cool uh, there's probably different apps that do that as well and also this uh, little 4 here that shows up by mail um, basically shows you uh, how many messages you got so very neat here um, so it doesn't show up here but it, uh, it does show down when you scroll it down so that's very neat Okay, so some of the widgets um, that uh, I noticed that were different are, uh, first let's check out the smoothness of uh, basically buttery smoothness of Project Butter. It's, uh, I am noticing it, it is very smooth. See, so look at that transition, it's just great. Okay, now let's go to widget and uh, let's see, some of the new ones here that I noticed and I didn't notice before is this page here. So you got favorites apps, so you can pin that and it looks like you can pick all your favorite apps. Favorite contacts, so you have three or nine. And favorite settings, um, I think I have a couple of these set up here. So favorite apps, uh, I just pinned this, I didn't actually set this up yet, but kind of, you know, a uh, quick little thing here to 
pick your apps and then favorite contacts you know once you pick one then you, you hit on it and it asks you if you want to text or message or phone the guy so pretty neat all right, let's uh, let's go to the star of the show. So uh, to get Google Now up, you could have done it from the lock screen, or you can press and hold the um, the the button here. And uh, actually, before sorry, before I show you, I just want to show you these three here. So that is a little bit new here. Once you hold and press and hold the the button down, uh, you have Task Manager here, which you didn't have this before. Um, so this comes up, and it actually shows you all of the um, uh, things that are open RAM so basically uh, all the things that are uh, running here so I can go clear memory and that should just clear pretty much everything and storage blah 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 so um, so now that I've closed it so it's gone so go back to my home screen and Let's go to Google Now. Okay, in Google Now, here it is. Um, so right away, I picked. Uh, you can pick some cards that you can um, that you will be able to see. Oh, I had some more here, but since I cleared the memory here, um, uh, so yeah, you can pick your favorite team that uh, you want to display. So it'll it'll show you. Um, recaps and highlights or whatever you should click on that and it just kind of shows you you can pick as many teams as you want here as well um, you know when they play next and what was the score blah 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 so uh, very nice uh, shows you the weather card and let's go show more so <laughs> right away uh, when it when you signed up here how long does it take you to go, get to work uh, when you first uh, get the update it'll ask if you want to sync with with um, you know with maps and whatnot and where you live and all that kind of jazz and I said yeah and then I just basically figured out how long you know uh, it takes me to get to work and whatnot so um, very neat some more things here so you can have traffic reports weather sports public transit flights next appointment translation currency time back home places other cards uh, you know uh, go ahead and play with that if uh, once you get it there's a lot of stuff in there all right let's see how um, let's see how uh, Google now uh, acts and uh, uh, let's ask it a question. What time is it in England? The time in England, UK is 5.58 p.m. How old is Nicolas Cage? Nicolas Cage is 48 years old. <laughs> uh, let's ask a quick uh, math. What is the square root of 2099? Directions to Toronto. Getting directions. So it shows you a map of Toronto, then it basically calculates the directions, and Google Maps opens, and bam. Pretty neat. Okay, a um, couple of things. Um, check my other videos. I will be asking um, more questions on Google now. Um, Basically, uh, I'll, I'll make a, a video just on some of the random questions that I uh, that I will be asking it. Um, also, um, check out my other video. Um, I'm hoping to uh, maybe post a link right around here somewhere uh, to how do I turn on that sound for Google Now. Uh, you'll find that yours might not actually uh, speak back to you if you are... Um, if you are on Rogers so um, you know check that out and I will uh, show you how, how that is done well I think that is it for me um, if you have any comments please uh, post them below as to some of those questions I had if you know the answers great please post them below um, and if you like this video, please hit the like button. I very much appreciate it. If you want to see more of these videos, hit the subscribe button. Um, and uh, they'll uh, alert you when those come out.